Coming up on today's Good Day Live, we've got Acorn Grill here with a blueberry salad and homemade vinaigrette. Learn more about the recipe and how you can make it yourself. Also today, the Queen of Soul is not feeling well and the world is pouring out emotions. We'll get the latest on Aretha Franklin. With back to school comes stress. We'll talk about ways to deal with your kids and the issues that cause them anxiety. All this and more on the way. Celebrating what makes the Wabash Valley unique and entertaining. WTWO's Julie Henricks and Hazel Marie Anderson with Good Day Live. Sponsored by Dorset Automotive and the Hoosier Lottery. Good afternoon and welcome. I'm Hazel Marie Anderson. Julie has the day off. We've all heard of cool parents. You know, the ones that let the kids stay up late during sleepovers or attend concerts without parent parental supervision. Well, a Nashville woman is taking it to the next level, overcoming a series of adversities to become the cool grandma. As Forrest Sanders explains, she is still tagging along at those concerts, but that doesn't seem to bother her daughter one bit. Taking on those Nashville honky tonk stages. No one could be prouder of Amanda Taylor than her mom. The mom's not out there in the crowd. There she is. Paula Jo Taylor. It's Broadway's guitar shredding granny. Okay, there we are. <laughs> All right, girls. Can you see me? Yeah. You look pretty. Yeah. Paula Joe's always keeping up with the grandkids, telling you. them about their Aunt Amanda. Those were some of the little faces Paula Joe had in her mind when she got difficult news. Stage three breast cancer. I don't know that I really grasp uh, thinking about whether I was going to live or die. It was more about the downtime, not being able to play on stage. To give that up would be extremely difficult. I just went, wow, my, my mom had cancer. Like, that's, a, that's real. After a double mastectomy, Paula Jo spent 18 months going through chemo by day, still playing those gigs downtown by night. I think that was a big part of, like, helping her to to get through it. Amanda's written a song for her mom, that guitar shredding granny who fought and is today cancer free. Yeah, she's she's definitely she's she's my best friend and she's definitely an inspiration. Paula Jo is an inspiration, and she says coming to Nashville was a lifelong dream. And now that she's arrived, she doesn't plan to let anyone or anything stand in her way. After becoming cancer-free, she can turn back her focus to playing music, which is what she loves. Still to come on Good Day Live, a corn grill with a yummy recipe for a guest chef Wednesday. First, Dan Reynolds with what we hope will be a drier Thursday. Forecast he has coming up next. leadership team lives and works in your community. We are committed to providing benefits, resources, advantages to our friends and families right here at home. So check us out. New opportunities are waiting on you. I'm Michael with Disc Replay. Disc Replay has the largest selection of movies and video games in the entire Wabash Valley. Stop in and save on the latest titles. Is your collection missing something? Disc Replay has it. And don't forget, we pay top dollar for gently used electronics, games, collectibles, and movies. At Disc Replay, there's no buffering, no passwords, just instant entertainment. Make 
summer go right with America's best-selling brand. Mace Ford in Terre Haute is offering savings all summer long. Right now, get 0% APR for 72 months, plus $1,000 Ford credit bonus cash on the Ford Escape, Edge, and Explorer. You won't leave anything behind on your summer adventure with the spacious cargo areas in the Ford SUVs. Shop all of our inventory online at MaceFord.com. Serving your automotive needs since 1924. Mace Ford. Indiana's all about doers. Like Mike Braun. Doing stuff to create opportunity so more doers can do what they do. Folks in Washington ain't doers. They're anti-doers. They stop doers from doing. Anti-doer Donnelly shipped doers jobs to Mexico. He votes against doers. Mike Braun, he's a doers doer. High wages, affordable health care, made in America. He'll do it there so we can do it here. I'm Mike Braun, a doer, and I approve this message. At Prospect Bank, our leadership team lives and works in your community. We are committed to providing benefits, resources, advantages to our friends and families right here at home. So check us out. New opportunities are waiting on you. <laughs> Welcome back. Dan, it was kind of a little hazy and gloomy and yep. a little muggy. Rain, you know, a little bit of everything and a lot of rain if you further south. Yeah. We only had 400 here at the station, but we're going to see more rain come in tonight. Oh, my goodness. Tomorrow. Don't say it. The weekend. Friday. Oh. And the weekend, well, you'll have to watch it 5, 6, and 11. All right. How's that for a tease? Yeah, that is a tease. Yeah. <laughs> Check out what we're doing right now. It is overcast. Uh, we've had a little bit of everything today. Shower, rumble of thunder, lightning, cloud cover. If you look at your Graber Post building, Skywatch Network camera. Now, rainfall, well, it's heavier this morning and heavier off to our southern counties. Right now, around Bloomington and north of there, are getting the, the brunt of it. Uh, we'll see some showers work their way back in during the evening and overnight hours. We'll continue with that chance tomorrow as well, including a rumble of thunder. Don't think there's any severe to worry about. And as far as that weekend goes, well, we've got an update on that forecast for the big air show coming up. You can check that out at 5, 6, and 11. Guest Chef is sponsored by Acorn Grill. Welcome back, everyone. It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. What does that mean? We get to eat. <laughs> <laughs> it means Blair Steele is here from the Acorn Grill as part of our great weekly feature. Thank you for coming in. Great to be back again. Thank you. I'm so excited for this one because I'm all about trying to eat with the seasons. And this is what this recipe is all about. Yes. Now Fresh you, blueberries. You all are, uh, you have a great salad menu. I want people to know because when I went down there, I'm... I'm trying to eat healthy. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I want to beef Manhattan a lot too. <laughs> but your salads, you guys have some great options. We do have a variety of salads to choose from. Yeah. This one is the blueberry field. Yes. Yeah, so what exactly is going into this? This is like all my favorite. Well, you just have your regular old iceberg lettuce mix with some spring mm. mix in with it. For somebody at home, let's just be truthful because mm -hmm. I'm that person. You can get some bag lettuce, right? Right. Ding. Bag lettuce. Easy bag lettuce. Easy go. Easy. Mm. <laughs> So you take the lettuce, yep. okay, we got that. And then that. you add your feta cheese. Oh, I love feta. That's one and of my favorites. It is. Blueberries. Which are so good this time of year. Mandarin oranges. Oh. I feel like mandarin oranges are like a secret ingredient to I salads. think so, too. Walnuts. See, this is what I love. You're, you're doing something that's all the rage now. You're putting walnuts, walnuts. in the salad instead yes. of croutons. So, I so mean. You still have that texture with exactly. the salad. Exactly. You're getting the crunch. But and you were healthy. telling me you're reading magazines like walnuts are the thing. They right now. are. They are all the thing now. I'm trying to tell you, peep. Now you're adding chicken, grilled chicken breast. Okay, so, um, but you could probably have this with if you wanted to, like maybe a shrimp. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like somebody right. you can use any kind of protein. Oh wow, so mm. steak would even go well with oh. it. Oh, oh. So steak and blueberries are really good too. All right, we got our salad all together. Yes. Now, what I want people to know, because this is the key. I literally, um, last week I was dining there, and I just had one of your just house salads, just a basic salad mm -hmm. to go with my, okay, beef Manhattan. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I, I had to have it. I wasn't going to say anything. This dressing <laughs> is unbelievable and so easy to make. So easy, yeah. It's, it's a blueberry dressing, oh right? Goodness. It's like a vinaigrette. It right? is a vinaigrette. So it's light, okay. So folks at home, we're going to show you the recipe for this, but talk about how simple this is to make. It's just boiling water, you have sugar, you have balsamic vinegar, you have blueberry juice, 
a little bit of sugar. So while blueberries are still in season, if you pick too many or you bought too many, this is the perfect thing to do is to Excellent. make this dressing. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Or if you're like me, you just buy blueberry juice at Walmart. There you go. And, um, <laughs> you know, because I'm going to be that mom that's going to be honest on television while we're cooking. Yeah, I, I'm, I am. I'm, I love how I'm like the Martha make it Stewart. Fresh. I'm like, and take the blueberries <laughs> and, and boil and it. Juice them and, 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 <laughs> No. Yep, you just mix the boiling water with sugar until it's completely dissolved, mm -hmm. and then you mix the rest of the ingredients in. Really? You have to chill it first, but, but it's good. It's oh, delicious. I've had it's it. So it's fantastic. Um, how much dressing do you recommend that you put on when you're using a vinaigrette like this? About two ounces. Oh, that's not very much. Sometimes I feel it's like really I just not. do too much, and then it just makes the it's lettuce hot. so heavy. Ugh. So don't use a lot. Don't use a lot. No. Don't use a lot. Um, all right, so we are going to, are we going to add this to it, or do you add it after um, you're done? Do you mix it all together? You can either drizzle it over the top, or you can just put it on the side so you can add it to taste as you're eating your salad. I just have to say, this is such a beautiful salad. I mean, we eat salads all the time, but look at the color of this salad. You have the different fruit, your proteins. You have two proteins, actually, one with the nuts and one with, like, you know, the meat the and everything. Chicken. I mean, you really can't go wrong with this salad. It's fantastic. It's fabulous. It's a good-looking salad. It is a good-looking salad. It's a good-looking restaurant. For folks who haven't okay. been, where are you located? 418 South Section Street in Sullivan, Indiana. Easy. It's a cute place. Oh, it's great. So it's easy great. to find online at acorngrill.com. The number is there on the screen. And, of course, we encourage you to follow them on social media. What are your hours? When are you guys open? We are open Monday through Saturday from 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. We are closed on Sundays. But that's six days a week. You can't go wrong. That you don't have to cook. Exactly. And no dishes. <laughs> you take care of the dishes. Unless you can't pay your bill. Then you can wash the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> She's honest, people. Whatever it takes, that's what we're saying. You guys, I'm so happy to have you as part of our Thank family. You. Truly, we enjoy this each and every week. We look forward to a new recipe, and I know our viewers are going to be excited to get those, too. So thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me again. I can't wait to dig in. You want to have a salad? You know I do. She wants to have a salad. We want you to stick around. When we come back, there is a lot more to come on Good Day Live. Some fun just can't be avoided. That's why they're Smart Strand Carpet by Mohawk. Smart Strand is the only carpet with built-in stain and soil resistance that never washes or wears off. Beautiful, durable, and irresistibly soft, Smart Strand Carpet is rated number one in customer satisfaction. Go ahead. Let the fun in. Come check out the selection at Osborne Georgia Carpet on Honey Creek Drive in Terre Haute. Welcome to the all-new Sullivan Automotive Group. The Sullivan Bunch promises to deliver your best automotive value. Take 19% off this Jeep Cherokee, or 31% off a Dodge Grand Caravan, or 25% off this Jeep Renegade. We are the number one pre-owned vehicle retailer in Sullivan County, with prices starting at just $99 per month. You'll find value here every day, and we guarantee your total satisfaction. The Sullivan Automotive Group on US 41 North. Entertainment is sponsored by French Lick Resort. In today's Good Entertainment, the thoughts of millions of music fans are with the legendary Aretha Franklin, who is said to be gravely ill with her unmistakable power and passion. Aretha Franklin is one of the greatest singers of all time. Now a source close to the 76-year-old singer says her health has taken a turn for the worst. Those who know her best are asking her fans for their prayers. NBC's Morgan Radford reports. The Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin, said to be gravely ill. A source close to the singer confirming she is surrounded by family and friends. Friends and loved ones are with Aretha Franklin at her home in the Detroit area and are hoping and praying that her situation improves. News of Franklin's failing health leading to an outpouring of support. 
fans of the Beyonce and Jay-Z concert in Franklin's hometown of Detroit overnight singing respect before the show. The Carters dedicating the concert to Franklin. Aerosmith's Steven Tyler telling TMZ. God bless you and everyone has got you on their mind. Big prayers to you. I love you, Rita. Mariah Carey tweeting, praying for the queen of soul. Franklin's legendary career has spanned over half a century. With massive hits like Respect. Natural Woman. And Chain of Fools. The powerhouse artist sharing her secret to staying on stage with Today in 2014. I think just the love of the, uh, of the business, the mm -hmm. industry. 18 Grammys, a Presidential Medal of Freedom, the first woman inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, all part of her lasting musical legacy. But in recent years, Franklin has struggled with her health. It's a part of her life she's tried to shield from the spotlight. First, undergoing an unspecified surgery in 2010. Franklin announcing her retirement in 2017, saying she would only return to the stage for select things. She recently canceled a number of appearances, telling a crowd in Detroit, keep me in your prayers. At her last performance in November, Franklin appearing noticeably thinner. In March, her management team saying she had been ordered by her doctor to rest. This is not only a beloved singer, but one of the transformative artists of the 20th and 21st centuries. She is the very definition of an icon. The music world is hailing a queen. Who provided the soundtrack for so many lives. Good Finance is sponsored by First Farmers Bank and Trust. There is still a little story circulating out there among some credit card users about how to improve your credit score. But financial experts say don't do it. It's because actually it has the opposite effect. Details from NBC's Chris Clackham. A recent study concluded more than one in five credit card users, about 43 million Americans, pay little or nothing on their monthly credit card bill, thinking it'll help their credit score. And that's simply not the case. But financial experts like bank rates Greg McBride are emphatic that carrying a credit card balance to help your credit score is not only a myth, but does exactly the opposite. Nothing's going to torpedo your credit score quicker than making late payments on, uh, on anything other than on the uh, occasional basis. McBride says the myth seems to be more prevalent among millennials and that the only beneficiaries of carrying credit card balances are the credit card companies. With the average credit card rate now over 17 percent, uh, there's a clear benefit for card issuers if you're carrying a balance needlessly on your credit card. Fact is, he says, credit scores soar when bills are paid on time and debts paid down monthly. Together, that's nearly two-thirds of your credit score right there. That's the low-hanging fruit in terms of building a solid credit history. A history that can start right now. Chris Clackham, NBC News. There's a new warning for drivers about skimmer scams at the gas pump. The Federal Trade Commission is reminding consumers to be vigilant when you gas up. Why swiping your credit card at the pump could potentially put your bank account at risk. So here's a few tips provided by the FTC to help you avoid skimmer scams. Make sure the gas pump panel is closed and doesn't show signs of tampering. And check out the credit card reader care Carefully, if it looks different than the others, you want to try and wiggle the card reader before you insert your card. And if you lose, and if it's too loose, report it to an attendant and use a different pump. If you're using plastic at the pump, use a credit card. But if you are using a debit card, run it as a credit card instead of entering your pen. And remember, you can always pay inside. After the break, is your kid's backpack too big for their body and too heavy to carry? 
ways to know if they're carrying the right load to school. Plus, the Lincoln Trail has classes for everyone, both young and young at heart. We'll share how everyone can get back to the books and learn in today's College Corner. What can you learn when you're over 50? At the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute at Indiana State University, take part in over 60 programs like Local True Crime, Indigenous People of the Amazon, U.S. Supreme Court, or travel to Chicago to the Field Museum and experience an architectural tour. Over 50, your adventures in learning have just begun. All programs start September 1st. Visit OllieTerrehaut.com or call our office today for a free program guide and start your adventure today. When you have a hole in your neck, don't face the shower head. Suction out your dough before you eat. Crouch. Don't bend over. You don't want to lose the food in your stomach. <laughs> don't use spray paint. Be very careful, Shaby. You can quit. For free help, call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. Rail crossings from the engineer's viewpoint, along with a look from the sky and a plane you'll see at this weekend's air show tonight on WTWA News at 6. Welcome back. For kids who have already returned to the classroom, hopefully the year has started stress-free. For some, the ringing of the school bell strikes fear and anxiety. Erica Edwards offers tips on how to ease students back into their new routine. The school year hasn't started yet for rising 8th grader Kellen Douglas, but she's already stressing about getting good grades. Especially if you're like a straight A-B student, there's a lot of pressure put on you to be the best of the best. Kellen and many other middle schoolers like her are thinking ahead to college. I have to work like 10 times as hard to get into, like to go to high school, and then I have to work extra, extra hard in high school to go to college. Experts say back to school stress is common, especially if kids are starting a new school. It's helpful to get the lay of the land before the first day. It's great to go the week before, walk around. Can you see where the cafeteria is? Most schools do open at least a week before for the teachers. And allow kids to express their angst openly. Tell them they can handle it. You know they can. They've handled scary things before. Being scared is not going to kill them. Being scared and mastering it, that's going to make them stronger. Kellen says she deals with stress by taking time for herself. I like to just relax sometimes because overworking yourself is very bad for both your physical state and emotional state. Preparing to face whatever challenges come after that first school bell. Erica Edwards, NBC News. You know what else can cause stress? Those heavy backpacks. Experts at the Mayo Clinic warn backpacks should weigh no more than 15% of a child's body weight. Lower back pain and achy muscles are usually adult issues. So if a child starts complaining about those aches and pains, that's a sign that the bag may be too heavy. Doctors recommend smaller backpacks with wider straps. Parents can help students figure out what they absolutely must carry and what can stay in the locker. College Corner is sponsored by Lincoln Trail College. We are here in Williams Hall at Lincoln Trail College. I'm here with Chris Ford. Chris, thank you for having us today. Thanks for having me. What I love is it's back to school, and what makes me excited is actually picking out the classes. You have such a plethora of classes that folks can take here in the Wabash Valley. What are some of them? So, you know, really what's great about Lincoln Trail College is you have so many options. Whether you're going to take just a class because it's something you're interested in or whether you're pursuing a degree to transfer on to a four-year school or you want to pursue a degree or a certificate to begin your career. We have all of those options for you and it is not too late to enroll. You can do that now. It's just a matter of calling out to the college and setting up an appointment with an advisor. What I also love is not only do you have the education courses, you know, the normal, the science and the math and the English, but you have some fun courses too that I like to say just 
brings a little bit more light into your life. What kind of courses are those? So you're, you're absolutely right. We have all kinds of, of fun stuff that you can do that, uh, you know, whether you're interested in beekeeping or maybe you want to learn an instrument or more about your personal finances, Spanish, all of those kinds of things. We have classes for you that can help you uh, grow yourself, become a better person, and, and these are are classes that are open to anyone in the community. You don't have to be a full-time Lincoln Trail College student to take these classes. And again, whether it's martial arts or aqua aerobics or, you know, beekeeping, I think is really going to be... I think that's yeah. really cool. These community education classes, like you said, are for the young and young at heart. Kids can even sign, well, the parents can sign the kids up for these courses, correct? Absolutely, and we have some really cool classes. The, the Karate for Kids has always been a really big program here at Lincoln Trail College, and we have a lot of kids that will get involved in that. We have some uh, parent-child karate try-it classes, so you can come with uh, your child as a mom or a dad or a guardian and see what our, our martial arts classes are like before you commit to that. Uh, we have music lessons for kids and uh, you know we, we have all kinds of different ways that kids can get involved, families can get involved. We're going to have a cake decorating class. Cake decorating class, are you serious? Absolutely. I mean, how fun is it to have a cor these courses that I really feel enrich your life. It's, it's more than that. Not only are you coming to Lincoln Trail College, but you're learning something, learning something new, as well as getting to know other people. Absolutely. And one of the parts of our, our mission is to improve the community and improve lives in the community. And that goes beyond just your, your basic classes, but it's also classes like this that we're talking about here today. And we put together a catalog where all of these classes are available. It runs throughout the year. Uh, I'm going to teach an improv class. No in the way! Yes. <laughs> you should come down and do that. I it, will, I will. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Photoshop, photography, all kinds of different options. And that catalog is available on our website. I was just about to ask, on your website, now where can folks find you once again? Uh, you go to www.iecc.edu slash LTC. And uh, from there, you can find out about our regular classes, our community interest classes, and just in general, what's going on at Lincoln Trail College. I love it. And also, come on down and, and see the beautiful campus. It, it's one of my favorites. And your counselors will talk you through what steps you need to take to get on the right path that you need to be on. Absolutely. They work hard to make sure that you are going to get exactly where you want to go, uh, whether you're going to transfer or whether you're going to pursue your career immediately after graduating from here. Well, thank you so much, Chris. It's always a pleasure to come on down here to Lincoln Trail College. Guys, stick with us. We have plenty more to come on Good Day Live. The NBC2 News app is your calm before, during, and after the storm. Download it now. Check out the new terrains and Acadias at PatriotOnline.com. Choose the one that's right for you. If we don't have it, we can get it. Patriot GMC is just a smidgen up the road and quite simply a better experience. Patriot GMC, Princeton, Indiana. Smidgen. Backlight is your fire sale. Truckloads of hot tubs are coming in every month, and we don't have a building to put them in. They must be sold before they arrive. Now is your chance to get the perfect hot tub way below retail. It's the limited time only Backyard Leisure Fire Sale. Hot tub, you need it. Delicious pizza, great sandwiches, pasta, salads, and more. Let Riley Pizza City cook for you. Enjoy the all-new Calzone, one of their famous pizzas, a toasted sub, or delicious salad. Locally owned and operated and located just three miles south of I-70 on State Road 46. Stop in and eat today or for one of their soft-serve ice cream treats. Try a famous twist cone sundae or shake all year long. It's always time to eat at Riley Pizza City, so come give us a try. This week's Friday Freebie winner is getting tickets to see Pentatonix and at the Ruoff Home Mortgage Center. You can purchase your tickets on LiveNation.com or when to from us. Also this week, $20 worth of scratch-off tickets from the Hoosier Lottery and a case of Life Waters from Pepsi. To win all of this, all you have to do is log on to MyWallBashValley.com, click on the Good Day Live tab, scroll down to that Friday Freebie logo, and that is where you register to win. Thank you so much for 
for joining me today. Julie will be back tomorrow, and we're heading down to Sullivan County Community Hospital and talking about their pain management clinic. There are so many options and treatments for those living with chronic pain, and we'll talk to a doctor to learn more about that. Until then, I hope you have a good day.